Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's matchup between your Brockton Boxers and the visiting Boston College High School Eagles. Brockton High School would like to take this opportunity to encourage you to display good sportsmanship to everyone involved in today's contest. Please do your part by showing respect to every spectator, athlete, coach, and official involved in today's match. Inappropriate behavior or language will not be tolerated and it may result in your removal from the stadium. For your convenience, restrooms are located under the bleachers, right underneath the press box. And now, we will have the starting lineups for both teams. Starting lineups for the BC High School Eagles. Double zero, senior goalkeeper, Captain Cooper Robart. Number seven, midfielder, senior captain, Tomas Trejo. Number 10, senior forward, Captain Osanga Owens. Number nine, senior forward, Gabe Pache. Number three, senior defender, John Dolbeck. Number 19, junior midfielder, Anatoly Baruziuk. Number six, junior defender, Aiden Green. Number 16, sophomore defender, Matt Bryan. Number 12, sophomore defender, Malcolm Flattery. Number 26, sophomore forward, Matt Tavon. And number 23, sophomore forward, Ryan Parks. Head coach of BC High School, Billy Ryan. Now for your starting lineups for the Brock and Boxes. Number five, senior forward, Captain Louis Spinola. Number 12, senior defender, Captain Eric Brito. Number 22, senior midfielder, Captain Derek Brito. At goal, senior Vinicius Nebs. Number eight, junior midfielder, Kevin Barboza. Number nine, junior forward, Vanilton Xavier. Number 14, senior forward, Giovanni Martins. Number 15, junior forward, Junior Xavier. Number 17, junior defender, Sergio Da Silva. Number 18, senior defender, Wilson Lobo. And number 20, senior midfielder, Belvic Silva. Now if everybody could please rise and face the flag for the playing of our national anthem. Head coach of the Brockton Boxes, Armino Furtado. And ladies and gentlemen, and just a reminder that we may have some weather blowing in here in a, in a few. 
In case that happens, you can seek shelter either in your car or in one of the restrooms. So once again, just keep an eye on the sky and we want to make sure that everybody stays safe. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Rocky Marciano Stadium, home of the Brockton Boxers. And today it is a rematch of the playoff game from last season that knocked the Boxers out of playoff contention. The Boston College High School Eagles come to town. Of course, they won last season's matchup in overtime down at Plymouth South to knock the Boxers out of the MIAA South sectional tournament. Both teams touting strong goaltenders. Venicio, Venicius Neves for the Brockton Boxers and Cooper Robard for the Boston College High School Eagles. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high atop the turf here at Marciano Stadium. Weather is supposed to be a factor in this one at some point. It'll probably hit around halftime heavy rain projected in the forecast. Brockton coming off a 4-2 loss down at New Bedford High School on the natural grass field down there. A lot of calls going against the boxers in that one. You have a look at the BC High Eagles wearing their visiting white jerseys, gold trim around the maroon numbers, and the Brockton boxers in their home black jerseys, red trim around the white numbers. Vinicius Neves in the yellow number zero goalie jersey. The first year starter for the boxers in his senior season. Eagles will have opening possession to start this game. Will be Brockton starting with possession. Fourteen Giovanni Martins to kick things off here for the boxers. Should be a very good defensive matchup between these two teams. We are underway. Kevin Barbosa, the scoring threat in the middle for the boxers, wearing the bright blue cleats, number eight in black. Barbosa gets held from behind. Free kick from about the 50 yard line. Well, Brockton, in that playoff matchup, scored early on a free kick. And then BC High really turned it on. There's an opportunity for the boxers. The cross to Barbosa, the shot. And it's a goal right off the bat. One minute and 13 seconds in. Kevin Barbosa putting it home for the boxers in an early lead. Let's take a look at that replay. Nice toe tap there. And Barbosa able to just grab it, deflect it off of Cooper Robards and into the back of the net. 
The boxers are Brock on top early. In the 38th minute of the first half by number eight, Kevin Barbosa. It's going to be Barbosa unassisted on that Brockton goal. A phenomenal start. You can't ask for a better start than that for Herminio Furtado. There's Cooper Robards, the big goaltender for the Eagles. A 60-yard kick from Robards. Spinola can't catch up to it. It'll be an eagle throw-in. No, oh, they're going to rule Brockton throw-in here. Three minutes in, 1-0 boxers. Off the goal by Kevin Barbosa. Brockton figures to have the advantage speed-wise and footwork-wise. BC High with the size and an excellent goaltender in Cooper Robarts. So I'll play off of BC High, Brockton throw in. These two teams continue to try to feel each other out, see what to expect from their opponent here at Marciano Stadium today. and over the end line. It'll be a goal kick for Vinicius Neves. Senior goalie for the boxers. Sending it short. Boxers go long over the top. Back across midfield. Santos uh, miscommunication turns the ball over to the Eagles. Now Vinicius able to pop it back up towards the 50 yard line. Spinola pressuring. Five minutes into the first half, 1 0 advantage to the Brockton Boxers. Barbosa pressuring that one. Looking for an easy second goal for the boxers. It will not come to pass so easy. Sent back to Vinicius Neves. Wasting some time off the clock. Christian Santos tripped on the far side. Free kick boxers from just inside the 40 yard line. Boot into the middle of the field, however, no boxer there to 
put a shot on net. Penalty called against BC High now, seven minutes into this first half. Robards picking this one up. No harm, no foul. It counts as a shot on net for the boxers. play from behind. Now a push, Giovanni Martins hitting the turf. It'll be a free kick for Brockton with about eight minutes and 45 seconds into this first half. Kevin Barbosa notching an early goal for the boxers. Scrapping for it. Now Martin's in the middle, sending it long over the top. Sent out a play. It'll be a boxer throwing. Good footwork there by Spinola. Tapped up by BC High. Yeah, Brockton throwing and a push from behind that's going to be called. Brockton will have a free kick. In decent position. It's going to be taken by number five for the boxers, Luis Spinola. Spinola, of course, a starter for most of his four years at Brockton High. About 10 minutes into the first half, Brockton with a 1 0 lead. And a couple of substitutions for the BC High Eagles, number 15 and number 18. BC substitution number Evan 15, McCarthy. Evan McCarthy, number 18, Sam Wolf. And Sam Wolf coming in for the Eagles. Osa Sinaga Owens for the Eagles on the far side. Tapped back to Tommy Rice. And Brockton taking it back. Number 14, Giovanni Martins, the senior forward for Herminio Furtado's boxers. Free kick boxers from the 50 yard line of the football markings. Put back into play by Belvic Silva. And another foul called against BC High. That one is a push on number seven. The senior co-captain Thomas Trejo. Derek Brito will put this one in play for the boxers. Be interested to see if he goes directly on net. Low kick deflected away, and BC High is able to clear. A shot and a punch out by the goalkeeper, Cooper Robards. The 
This one sent all the way back to Vinicius Neves, the Brockton goaltender. Here's Spinola in the middle. It's Vinilton Xavier. And the ball trickling to Robards. This one all the way back in on Vinicius. Kevin Barboza with the only goal to this point. for the boxers. Keep throwing, but off the mark, Brockton takes over. Spinola going for a run, it's a foot race, and Cooper Robards able to dive on it. Luis Spinola was threatening. Gutsy move by Robards. <laughs> Grabbing the match results in a free kick for the Eagles. It's gonna be put back in play by number 16. Sophomore defender, Matt Byrne. No harm, no foul for Vinicius Neves. Being a little bit Extra cautious diving on that ball and holding it there. Very physical game shaping up here at Marciano Stadium. Rockton able to clear back out towards midfield, push from behind, not called. That one's going to be it's going to be a trip on Kevin Barbosa. Aiden Green to kick this one away. into the box, deflected, and Neves was trying to grab it one-handed as he was diving to the ground, and BC High was threatening, and not able to get a shot off. Now they just punch one back towards Neves. He handles it easily. Neves back across midfield. Senior goaltender for the boxers. for boxers, Luis Spinola in front. He can't get a shot off BC High with good bunching defense around the ball. 24 minutes to go in the first half. One nothing boxers. Spinola has it taken off his foot, kicked out of play. The boxer throwing in front of their own bench. Or it's going to be a free kick, rather. Spinola to take it for the boxers. So the 
box headed out by the Eagles. Not out of trouble yet. A bump to get the angle on the ball. Nice play there by Sergio De Silva. And we have an injured boxer on the far side. Milton Xavier on the far side that went down. The resulting kick off the mark. BC High able to clear it. Excellent footwork by number 18 of the boxers. That's Wilson Lobo, the senior defender. Headed but in play, thought it might have popped over the line. Boxers with very patient footwork and now headed and BC Hyde isn't able to capitalize on the empty net. Rockin takes clear possession and sent out by Lobo. Dangerous minute there for the boxers. Sent up for Spinola. getting around his defender now pushed down from behind by number 15 that was Evan McCarthy committing the foul we're going to call an over the back on number 17 of Brockton Sergio De Silva Thought he just got a tremendous amount of air, but the refs saw some contact. Should be put back in play by Aiden Green, the junior defender for the Eagles. Headed dangerously. Neves able to get enough hand on it. It's going to be a corner kick for the Eagles. Threatening in the box was Evan McCarthy. A conversation between officials. One of them thinks it's a goal kick. In. Neves punched it. BC High still with it. Able to get a shot off, but blocked away by the foot of number 20. And an excellent tackle. Rules clean by the official on the far side. Brockton able to clear out back towards midfield. Excellent defense there for the boxers. About halfway through this first half, Brockton with a one goal lead, looking to add to it. On the far side, it's number 14 for the Boxers. Dancing in front, a shot is saved by Robards. It came from Vanilton Xavier's boot. And Robards able to dive on it. Neves diving out on the other side of the turf. Yeah. A 
Rodgers with a short 30-ish yard kick. Picked up by Neves. Vinicius Neves likes to add a little bit of drama. Waste some time off the clock. Good move by Spinola, back healing it over to Lobo. The Eagles able to clear out, headed on the far side by Eric Brito, the senior co-captain. Now across, Spinola wasn't able to get enough of his head on it. Now cross back into the box. It might have deflected off of one of the Eagles, but they're able to get it back closer to midfield and out of immediate danger. Off the side of the foot of Junior Xavier. Excellent slide by Lobo, but out of play. DC High substitution number 23, Ryan Parks. Ryan Parks into the game, the sophomore forward. Now it's a foot race, a jostling for position. Battle's going to be won by Sergio De Silva. He was Jousting with Osa Sanaga Owens. Say that name five times fast. I'll tell you, the names never get any easier. This one sent out a play off of one of the Eagles on the far sideline. So we approach the 15 minute mark. Push going to be called on the far side. Sergio De Silva is the guilty party. Save there by Neves. Free kick for the boxers on the far sideline. I don't know, Luiz, there's another team, I don't know. Now, free kick for the Eagles, 13 45 ish left. Saved by Neves, and he dives on it. Now Neves rolling it over to Da Silva.
PC High substitution. PC High substitution number 14, Oseche Polirio. Oseche Polirio, the incoming eagle, and he is joined by number five, that's Tommy Rice. BC High substitution number five, Tommy Rice. Brockton substitution number seven, Lucas Fernandez. Number 21, Henry Math. They're going to rule this one out of play, and it'll be a goal kick for the Eagles. Battling on the far side was number seven, Lucas Fernandez. Hey, Kevin. Tapped forward. Now it's Tommy Rice sending it across. BC High sending it back across to their side of the 50. And we have a boxer down. Calling for the trainer. I believe that is number 18, Wilson Lobo. And that is Wilson Lobo down, testing the stability of his right leg. Lobo coming off, talking to head coach Herminio Furtado. He is replaced by number nine, Vinilton Xavier. Now Neves diving on it. So the injury substitution, Vinilton Xavier in for Eric Lobo. Now they switch places. Lobo back in. Brockton injury substitution number nine for Nilton Xavier. Lobo comes back in after a quick stretch on the sideline. Almost a nice turn for Henry. Matthew. Push from behind on Sergio De Silva. And now the Eagles with an opportunity. Opportunity. Excuse me. As we hit the 10 minute mark in the first half, Brockton up 1 0. Going to be sent in by number six, Aiden Green. Green with a nice curve headed and a goal for the Eagles, able to capitalize. That was sent in by Aiden Green. And a timeout called by head coach Herminio Furtado. Timeout called by Brockton. Number 16. The goal was scored by Osechi Baliro. 
Assisted by Aiden Green, who put that one back in play. BC Gold scored in the ninth minute of the first half by number 14, Osechi Bolirio. Assisted by number six, Andy Green. So BC High ties it up. About 9.35 remaining. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the turf here at Marciano Stadium. Rain is supposed to be incoming. It should hit sometime during halftime, allegedly. So Brockton to put it back in play, it'll be Lucas Fernandez passing back to Vanelton Xavier. Now the Spinola, now it is back to Sergio De Silva. All the way back to Vinicius Neves. kick for Neves. Gives it over to De Silva. This one popped over to the goal scorer Bolero. About eight minutes to go. Is the Brockton goalkeeper doing a good job so far? Sharing a name with Brockton soccer legend. Felix Neves, but no I in the young goalie's last name. It's gonna be a trip on BC High. Immediately put back in quick restart for the boxers, Spinolo in the middle. Able to get around his defenders. Is he gonna launch one? Yes, but not get any air under it. Easy pickup for Robards. The shot blocked away nicely by number 15, Junior Xavier, who just didn't show any hesitation getting in front of that. 
about two feet off of the BC High shot, and this one sent up and over. BC High substitution, number 10, Osagna Owen. Also, Sonega Owens coming into the game, the senior co-captain. One of the more fun names we've gotten in the last couple of years. About six minutes left now in half number one. I'll knot it up at one goal apiece. Bolero off the free kick from Aiden Green in the ninth minute. And Kevin Barbosa much earlier in this half for Brockton. This one cleared into the, would have been the 15th row, but wide of the stands. Ball boy for tonight's festivities, not so newly named athletic director, Kevin Caro, doing yeoman's work on the sideline. was an offsides called against BC High and the ref trotting it all the way up. Still gone. That's gotta be a foul. That's gotta be a push or something. No, it's gonna be a drop kick. One ref is saying drop kick, one ref is saying it's a free kick for the Eagles or an offside, it's gonna be in offsides way back at the 21 yard line. We saw a drop kick in the Lady Boxers game on Tuesday night. Can we get an official clarification? A shot in, a diving save by Robards. Lucas Fernandez on the far side watching that shot. About four minutes to go here in the first half. Spinola heading it. Another jostling match. The advantage will go to the Eagles. It was Thomas Trejo battling against Barbosa. <laughs> Neves able to stop it as BC guy was pressuring, sending it back towards midfield. Now it's Fernandez trying to create some space. It's taken off his... Foot BC High takes over. Bolero sending it back and BC High able to clear it back across midfield and now going for a run. That should have been offsides on number 23. A shot is gonna go wide, but it was deflected by Neves. That was a very clear offsides against Ryan Parks and they just missed it. So a corner kick up coming for the Eagles from the far corner. About two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Curving it outward is going to be the Eagles. And Brockton is able to clear it out. Now Spinola putting it back further away from the Brockton net and now it's a two on one for the boxers. 
the cross, and he shanked it. Vanilton Xavier got too much of it on the inside of his foot, and it went well Official wide. Official time will be kept on the field. It was a perfect cross for Henry Matthew. And Xavier, no doubt about it, just shanked it. Couple of substitutions. Number nine and number 15 for the Eagles. That is Gabe Piche and Evan McCarthy. PC High substitution, number nine, Gabe Piche. Gabe Piche. And number 15, Evan McCarthy. Brockton injury substitution, number six, Christian Santos. Christian Santos into the game for the boxers. Now shot in, Robard's able to pick it. It was fed again by Henry Mathieu. That one was taken by Lucas Fernandez. Now a foot race and Neves diving on it. He almost made the mental error of carrying it across the goalie box. Catching himself when he saw the red stripe on the field. Throwing for the boxers with not much time remaining here in the first half. Fernandez a little bit too far out for Mathieu. Now the cross, headed in, what up, saved by Robards. Robards has caught fire picking balls out of thin ear. If you're Brockton, you can't play it any better than that. We have a foul called all the way back at the Boxer 34 yard line. Number 15, the Boxer that was down, Junior Xavier, but it's gonna be an eagle kick from just about midfield, a low kick. Tapped back by Henry Mathieu. Now it is Christian Santos. The whistles blow, and the first half has come to an end. We That's are all time. knotted up at one goal apiece. It's Osechi Bolero and Kevin Barboza, the two the goal scorers. Please keep an eye on the weather. One to one, the BC High Eagles and the Brockton Boxers tied at halftime. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. Hello and welcome back into Marciano Stadium for second half action between the BC High Eagles and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the turf as the weather looks to be starting to set in. Not raining yet, but the sky has gotten awfully dark in the last 10 minutes of halftime. Free kick, Brockton. The score is all knotted up, one goal apiece. A 
shot goes wide of Cooper Robards. The fans have started to retreat closer to the press box, hoping to shield themselves from what looks to be a heavy rain. Robards to kick this one away. Brockton. Throwing it down on the far side is number 18. And that is Wilson Lobo. Spinola to the outside, a little bit too soft for Fernandez. This has been a scrappy kind of game. Run all the way back to Robards. It's a race against Mother Nature here in the second half. And here comes the rain. With a potential funnel cloud off to the left. I'm gonna consult my press box partner, see how much we're charging tickets for entry into the press box. one popped out and that's Christian Santos sending it on net easy save for Robards there is lightning in the forecast of course if that happens there is a mandatory break Automatic half hour and then 15 minutes after the last lightning flash. None, none seen yet. The Mad Dog weather team will keep an eye out for you. Sent back to Robards, he easily kicks it back across midfield. A strong leg goaltender of the Eagles. Santos trying to force it up to Matthew. Didn't connect. Clouds really moving across the field from left to right. This one sent back to Vinicius Neves.
This one sent back to Neves. See how you're able to keep it in. A pop shot is going to go about three feet wide. BC High substitution number 15, Evan McCarthy. It's McCarthy coming back into the game. Sent back to Neves. Nice move through the legs. Not to a reaction from the crowd. Now tripped is number eight, Kevin Barbosa, the goal scorer for the boxers as the rain picks up. But the cloud's moving very fast. That's right, the Mad Dog Weather Team. 63 degrees is cooling off. It started off at around 81 this morning. Of course, the forecast for the all time historical football matchup up at Everett on Saturday afternoon. Here's an opportunity. And a goal, it went off the post and in. Neves came out to challenge and he didn't get there quite in time. It's Gabe Piché, the senior forward, on the goal. So the, the weather forecast as BC High now leads it two to one for Saturday afternoon. Partly cloudy with a chance of a high scoring football game. BC High goal scored in the 31st minute of the second half by number nine, Gabe Piché. We've got the function hall rented out at the casino for after the game. Courtesy of not so newly named athletic director, Kevin Caro. The five star all you can eat buffet is on the menu. Running into Robards and it's gonna be a card for the now hurt boxer. <laughs> The ref kneeling over his face to, to deliver this card. Yep, it's it's a get up. Just a warning for Henry Matthew. That, that should have been a, the ball was placed, so it, it has to be just a, just a kick from the spot of the ball, but the goalkeeper, Cooper Robards, picked it up and got some momentum behind. Small potatoes, but it could be something. Being told that they, they may have Potatoes on the smaller side up at the Encore Buffet. We'll find out. The 
rain has let up a little bit. Robards coming out to challenge again, grabbing this one. Brockton not getting the time of possession that they had in the first half. Good move through the legs for Christian Santos. Throwing a quick restart, going down to the turf was Junior Xavier, he's gonna draw the call. 2-1 Eagles on top of the boxers with about 27 and a half minutes to go. Sure, the slide tackles get a little bit easier on the wet turf. And here's number eight, Kevin Barboza, lone goal scorer, undressing his defender. His shot goes wide to the left, but it draws a reaction from the crowd. And he had Lucas Fernandez uncovered on the far side. The footwork was pristine for Kevin Barbosa. Of course, this is a rematch. of the South Sectional matchup in last season's playoffs. Of course, that game was down at Plymouth South. Here's an opportunity, a shot. What a save by Robards. Robards is on his game today at Marciano Stadium. As we await the corner kick from Luis Spinola. That game was highlighted by multiple overtimes in the game that preceded it and after the long bus ride that didn't help anybody that of course was caused by bca sports producer phil philippides who said the o word the second we got and an over the back called against brockton so bc high escapes This one sent up ahead is the rain coming in harder once again. Supposed to rain for the remainder of this game, at least. About 24 and a half minutes left in regulation. Sam Wolf, the sophomore midfielder, coming in for the Eagles. BC High substitution number. Number 18, Sam Wolf.
Rain really coming down now on the field. We'll see how long the refs let him play. A two on, oh, that should have been off sides. A shot and a goal, number nine is gonna go unassisted. Gabe Pache. On the goal to give the Eagles a two goal lead. BC goals scored in the 23rd minute of the second half by number nine, Gabe Pacheco. Pacheco's second of the game to give the Eagles a 3-1 lead. We're being told by weather correspondent, Mike the Postman Simmons, that it doesn't matter how hard it rains, as long as there's no lightning, they will play. Opportunity for the boxers. A shot and another stop by Robards. Trying to get fancy with it on the far side. I think that was Santos. Barbosa that had that opportunity for the boxers. <laughs> Brockton slowly but surely moving it down the sideline. About halfway through the second half, 3-1 the BC High Eagles. And we're going to have a Holding on the defense, that's a five yard penalty. Free kick from about 34 yards out. See if they go direct here. Indeed a direct kick and over the net. Wasn't a shot, wasn't a pass, it was a shank. Sprockton's gonna get to work if they want to avoid consecutive loss, of course going down to New Bedford losing four to two in that matchup on the natural grass field. Giovanni Martins. BC high substitution number five, Tommy Rice. Brockton high substitution number 14, Giovanni Martins. Martins into the game as well as Rice for the Eagles. <coughs> Martin's up for Barbosa. Barbosa with some room, his shot, and it goes just wide. Robards might have gotten it off his fingertips, and he did it. They're gonna rule a corner kick from the near side. What a phenomenal effort from Cooper Robards.
Corner kick coming from the far side. Swirlbards might have just gotten the very ends of his fingertips on it. Low kick. And now clearing it are the Eagles. Brockton High taking it right back. Let's see if they can spark some offense. A long shot could be trouble, and Robards picks it. Robards having a highlight reel game. Martin's over to Barbosa. Barbosa in the middle trying to create some space. Now Lucas Fernandez deflecting off of one of the Eagles. Now it's Luis Spinola running into an Eagle, getting up and recovering, trying to launch a shot, but it's blocked away. And Fernandez couldn't control the pass. Eagles send it all the way up. You know, push in the back. <laughs> Ref having a conversation with BC High's coach. Little chip into the box, headed out by Fernandez. A bicycle attempt, easily saved by Neves. Now it's Martins. Up to Belvic Silva. And no boxer on the receiving end on the far sideline. BC High substitution, number 23, Ryan Parks. Number 26, Matt Taven. Parks and Tevenant into the game for the Eagles. Hold against BC High. Number 12, Eric Brito is scrapping for that ball. This is gonna be a card with 15 minutes to go. It's Tommy Rice getting the card for the Eagles. He has to come off. Opportunity for the boxers here off of the yellow card for Tommy Rice. Just Fernandez tapping back to Belvic Silva. And it's going to be a corner kick for the boxers from the far side. Low 
kick as the field gets a little bit more hazardous. It's gonna be another corner kick for Brockton. Quick restart, short kick. Now scrapping on the sideline is Barbosa and the BCI subs getting into it. Each team thought that that should have been their advantage and a yellow card now for number seven. That's senior co-captain Thomas Trejo. The second yellow in about two minutes for the Eagles. So that rule still stands if you have 10 yellows at the end of the season, you don't you're not able to qualify for the playoffs. So BCI putting a dent in that total here in about a minute and a half. The rains get progressively heavier here. Wind coming in from east to west. This one all the way in on Neves. He easily picks it up. About 12 minutes left here in a very wet Marciano Stadium. Whistle stoppage. gets even more nasty out. Spinola lost control of it. BC High substitution number seven, Thomas Trejo. Number 14, Osachi Barillo. So Trejo back in after getting that yellow. Out of playoff of BC High, it'll be a Brockton thrown right in front of the BC High bench. Now it's Kevin Barbosa in the middle. Tried to get too fancy with it and that took away his open space. He sends it well wide. Goal kick for the Eagles. DC High trying to get a put away goal, but Brockton High negating the chance. BCI sending it out of play. BC High sending it back towards midfield, 9.31 to go.
Back in play now, about nine minutes to go. Spinola gets tripped. It's gonna be a Brockton high throw in. Now it's Spinola with a little bit of room on the near sideline. Trying to fake out his defender, he launches one high. His right boot might have gotten caught hydroplaning. About eight minutes to go. And Robards again having a Phenomenal game here at Marciano Stadium. Sending it back across midfield. Quite a leg on Robards. Now with a lot of room, Lucas Fernandez. He's tripped up from behind. No call. Robards thought the ref might have been holding the whistle, but... Robards a low kick, might have gotten less than he wanted to on it. <laughs> Offsides called against the Eagles on the far side. Brockton looking for the quick restart. Now it's Fernandez trying to pop it up to Giovanni Martins. It was intercepted and now it's a two on one for the boxers. A cross is gonna be broken up. And the Eagles able to recover. Six and a half to go, Brockton's gonna get going. And we'll see some substitutions. BC High School substitution, number nine, Gabe Bache. Number 15, Evan McCarthy. Brockton substitution, number 11, Danny Resende. Danny Resende's into the game. Five and change left for the boxers to putt at least two goals. Opportunity here for the boxers. It's number 11 who lost the handles. Danny Resendi, the senior forward into the game and it's gonna be a penalty kick for obstruction for Brockton. And opportunity. It's a hooking call on BC High and a golden opportunity for Luis Spinola. So Spinola to draw the boxers within one with 4.50-ish remaining. Robard's already having a phenomenal game. Let's see if he can stop the boxers co-captain here. Spinola usually goes low left. Low right and a save by Robards. Official time will be kept on the field. Cooper Robards having a day here at Marciano Stadium. And this one sent through the uprights. It'll be a goal kick. 
What a phenomenal effort by Cooper Robards. The boxers chose a bad day to run into a hot goalie. Now it's Spinola with it. Sending it across for Lucas Fernandez. Fernandez for Barbosa. No boxer on the area. Robard stops it with his foot. High kick, Robards might have slipped on that one. Boxer free kick from just inside of midfield. Santos, quick restart. Lucas Fernandez, it's a foot race. Fernandez getting to it before it goes out of play. His cross broken up, but an opportunity for the boxers in, shanked high. It's gonna be a goal kick. BC High substitution, number 23, Ryan Parks. Trip called against Brockton and upset at that call. Can't be much time left here at all for the Eagles to defend, and Neves lets it go wide. Neves all the way back in his net before he started running to kick that one away. Good move now, Spinola with some running room. Up to Kevin Barbosa, the lone goal scorer for the boxers, put out of play by the Eagles deep in their own territory. Spinola looking for Danny Fernand uh, Resende, rather, doesn't connect. Now Santos too far for Fernandez. And that should just about do it once this ball is put back in play. BC High clearing it back to the Brockton side of the field. Can't be much more than about 30 seconds to go. <laughs> Spinola just popping it. Brockton seemingly has accepted defeat. They ran into a hot goalie in Cooper Robards who has had a phenomenal evening here at Marciano Stadium. Kevin Barbosa out of playoff of BC High with 
Not too many seconds left in this game. Free kick is going to come. Oh, it's going to be a throw in. They ignore the ref on the near sideline. Brockton dominating time of possession in the first half with only one goal to show for it. A couple of late goals by Gabe Pache. He is the difference in this one as Neves comes out to grab it. 3-1 to score, the Eagles on top. Brockton sending it long over the top. Field very wet, very slippery. It's been raining almost the entirety of the second half. Now Neves, can he get back in time? Off the post on a deflection. And Neves able to recover and get back into his net. BC High coming within three inches of a three goal victory. And the whistles blow, that Final will score. do it. BC High three, Brockton one. The Final score, three to one. Two of the goals coming from Gabe Pache, the other one from Osechi Bolero. The lone Brockton goal coming from the boot of Kevin Barbosa early on in the first half. A rainy, wet, messy kind of game the first half, Brockton dominated time of possession and opportunity. And then Cooper Robards, the story of this one, having a phenomenal day in net for the BC High Eagles. For everyone here at BCA Sports, a 3-1 to one defeat to the BC High Eagles for the Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.